Alrighty, so I left Pie Town this morning. I'm now 26 years old. So yesterday was my birthday, so we just chilled out. I ate a bunch of pie. It's a pretty good birthday. Uh, pie Town's a weird little place. It's uh, just a one intersection town, and uh, primarily they just sell pie. Now this right here is probably the best water source you could ever hope to find in the New Mexico desert. Right now I'm going to be doing the Ceboya, Cebola alternate. Should be a pretty cool day actually. It's supposed to be some ancient petroglyphs on this rock. Here's another one. So I'm a little bit skeptical of this lay route right now. Um, I'm bushwhacking from the rim trail across this hillside to get to where you can see the arch. Actually following a compass bearing because um, my phone's on 5%. There's a trail over here by the arch. I really hope that it actually descends the cliff and connects to what I'm doing now because these cliffs are steep and there's no way you could scramble down them so if this route doesn't match up then I'm gonna have to go all the way back like four miles which would really suck. Now this is a view. There's the arch. Okay, Lay's not crazy. This was worth it. And there is a trail down, so I'm happy. Pretty fun start to the morning. Awesome view. A little bit of scrambling. A little steep. Actually looks much more like an arch from down here. Doing some lava field walking, which is pretty cool. This isn't even a very big one, but there's tons of these cracks that you have to hop over. Radio said that he dropped his trekking pole down one and had to shimmy down and get it. That would have freaked me out. We're just getting pummeled by like this, some hail and wind. I'm like, Hunker down under this little tree. I'm putting my camera in my backpack. So after I told you I was putting my camera away, it just kept snowing and hailing and snowing and hailing and raining and blowing wind for hours and was pretty unpleasant. Took shelter in a cave. We're hiding in this little cave and it's snowing out there. Can you see the snow? It doesn't really come through. Pretty warm in the cave. It's a very luxurious cave. Although it was pretty calm then. Then maybe like 20 minutes after that, it got really crazy and took shelter in a dirty bathroom. That was fun. 
And we did maybe, I don't know, 13 or so more miles, and now we're camped. Uh, so we only got 10 or so, 10 or 11 miles into Grants tomorrow, uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, we'll get some hot food and take a break, and that will be very welcome. First overnight snow on the CDT, and I have a feeling not the last. Alright, so I'm walking into Grant's now and I just got charged by two loose and aggressive pit bulls. My friends were up ahead and they gave me a call and told me to look out for them. So I had some snacks in my hand ready and some rocks in the other hand. Then my trekking poles is a last resort. So I threw the snacks at them and they kept charging so I ducked behind somebody's fence and then they backed off. And then I was waiting, thinking, what am I going to do? So I waited for a car to come by, and then I asked the person in the car to just drive beside me as I walked, and honk if necessary. And that seemed to be enough to deter the dogs. <laughs> Crazy. So... We just left Grants, which is the city down there. Climbing up to Mount Taylor. It's pretty windy up here. Beautiful though. Excited about this section. Heard it's supposed to be really great. That guy right there, that is Mount Taylor, our next destination. It's 11,300 feet, so that's the highest we'll be by pretty far on this trail so far. First real mountain on the CDT. Two thousand foot climb, first thing in the morning, up to Mount Taylor. That is Driver. He's a recent addition to the trail family. <laughs> we are gonna have some snow on the way down. I think it's early enough though that there won't be any post holding, thankfully. Oh, this is going to be tedious. The snow is rock hard and a little bit slippery. doing a little lay alternate through this drainage here uh, cross country I'm trying to do as many of those as I can work on my navigation skills and it's pretty fun no GPS just map and compass figuring it out I thought today was going to be boring. I had my camera away and everything, but this is pretty great. Looks like Monument Valley out there or something. Very, very beautiful.
We had some very nice and unexpected trail magic after coming down that descent into this basin and they just some people car camping they gave us tacos and water and beer very very nice got a nice campfire going we're just gonna cowboy around here and then yeah back to the trail tomorrow. just thankfully not currently on top of my head. I'll probably learn that if I'm asking if it's going to storm on the CDT, then it's probably going to storm. This section just continues to impress. What a beautiful day. 